Life cannot be made to conform to a system. It cannot be forced into a framework, however nobly conceived. And a mind that has merely been trained in factual knowledge is incapable of meeting life with its variety, its subtlety, its depths, and great heights. When we train our children according to a system or a particular discipline, when we teach them to think within departmental divisions, we prevent them from growing into integrated men and women, and therefore they become incapable of thinking intelligently, which is to meet life as a whole. J. Krishnamurti has been deeply involved with education for over 60 years. And today, an ever-increasing number of parents, educators, and college students are exploring his perceptions of the learning process. Over 1,600 children are currently enrolled in Krishnamurti schools throughout the world. In each of these schools, the learning process is considered to be more than memorization. To all of those involved, a school is a place where the wholeness of life is free to unfold. It is a place where both the teacher and the student can explore academic subjects, the arts, and humanities, as well as their own thinking and conditioning. In 1974, Krishnamurti raised the question of establishing a school in North America. He described the urgency of creating a fundamentally different approach to education. For several months, the problems of staff, curriculum, facilities, and accreditation were carefully considered by the trustees of the American Foundation. The following spring, at Krishnamurti's request, Mark Lee and his wife moved to the Ojai Valley to meet the challenge of beginning the Oak Grove School. The school is different because the attention paid to the student, the uh, intent of the school, the environment of the school, the way the curriculum operates, the way students and teachers relate to each other, totally, together, all make for a very different educational atmosphere for the students. Other schools have elements that make them different, but the, the fact that our school intends to deal with psychological development as well as the intellectual development of a child makes it fundamentally different. We don't use a particular scheme of educating children. Consequently, you cannot put, a, put the school in a category. The entire atmosphere of the school is fluid for the child. It is a place of security, and during each week the student has an opportunity to explore all aspects of the school's program. The curriculum of the Oak Grove School has been carefully designed to contain traditional academic subjects, as well as a wide selection of non-academics, including art, music, ceramics, shop, physical education, horseback riding, gardening, and drama. Anybody know what's wrong with this tent? I think it doesn't finish. It doesn't finish. Is it, does everybody see where it doesn't finish? Yeah. Where? <laughs> okay. Josh, can you come up here and put in a tent at this space here? If a child has difficulty with a particular subject, that difficulty is uncovered. It's exposed and worked on. In this way, parents and teachers work together to eliminate potential gaps in the student's education. When new children and their parents arrive at the Oak Grove School, the teachers and the staff take great pains to ensure that they see the school without expectations or illusions. They are encouraged to relate to the teachers as human beings 
who, like everyone else, can make mistakes. But as one becomes more familiar with the unique quality of the school, it becomes increasingly clear that the teachers and the staff are highly skilled and are truly interested in the individual educational needs of each student. And it has an interest in improving that I think will be instrumental in, in the learning mm -hmm. part of his being here, that he's still insecure. The Oak Grove School stresses the importance of relationships. The quality of relationship between the teacher and the student, or a student and a parent, is seen as a dynamic catalyst for learning. To strengthen this aspect of the school, the teachers and staff continually work together to find out how to develop these relationships. As each teacher becomes firmly grounded in the process of learning that is so unique in the Krishnamurti schools, they discover that this learning environment offers them an unlimited opportunity to discover themselves as good teachers and to do the work of educating children. At the same time, there is always the concern for excellence in academics and the encouragement for children to do their very best in every subject. Facing a class of students every day, day after day, that quickly grounds one in the reality of relationship because you can only go so far with a group of students with intellectual responses to them. You have to deal with them practically, simply, fundamentally. Otherwise, you don't, you don't have a class. You're not a teacher. Fortunately, the teachers we have here are all, I feel, quite capable of this. But expectations for new parents tends to be a problem because they think that the school may be the final answer to their child's difficulties of learning, behavior, socialization. And they have to see the school for what it is, that is a group of people, educators, serious people, who are exploring education and living and attempting to do things in a, in a radically different way. The spark that may kindle a child's investigation is not limited to a particular time of day, nor are the opportunities for learning found only in a structured classroom. Realizing this, the Oak Grove School attempts to include the child's home and parents as equal forces in the educational process. Parents are encouraged to become closely involved in their child's education by working to end the psychological division that usually exists between the classroom and the home. It is felt that the school offers a unique opportunity for young people to be educated before they're conditioned by the pressures of institutionalized schooling. This fundamental intent continually challenges students, teachers, and parents alike as they explore new ways to bring this about. David Moody, education director and the first teacher to join the staff of the Oak Grove School, has become increasingly aware of these challenges and works closely with parents to help meet them. Many parents are here, of course, and each one, each family, each parent comes with his or her own expectations. Uh, part of the whole business of this school is to uh, develop right relationship all the way around, right relationship between the teacher and the student and also between the teacher and the parent. Uh, and so in part of the relationship between the teacher and the parent, of course, is to deal with this very question. What are the parent's expectations? Uh, are they reasonable? What are the chances that they will be met here? Uh, if a parent expects that their child is going to be radically transformed in a semester or a year, I would have to say it's unlikely. Uh, if a parent expects that there's going to be a serious effort to explore on the part of both the teacher and the student into a more full understanding of themselves, then I think we can say, yes, that does take place here. If we want to go and live in France... Krishnamurti continues to be actively involved by meeting with students, staff, and parents. His main objective, however, 
is attracting serious people to the Oak Grove School. Your, mind, your brain to develop. More, more, the more it's developed, the greater the brain capacity is. Why can't you develop it in different ways, besides academics? Besides academics, you can learn about uh, what? Over the years, the Oak Grove School has grown into a cohesive learning center for children and adults. But as the school continues to expand, so has the need to include secondary students as well. Parents have been asking for this secondary program. They have addressed Krishnamurti directly and asked that this unique educational process be extended to include high school students. They want to allow their children the opportunity of continuing to grow in this atmosphere of inquiry this atmosphere of exploration. The fundamental purpose of the Krishnamurti schools throughout the world is essentially the same. All of these schools give importance to the cultivation of knowledge and then go on to discover the function and real significance of that knowledge. These schools are places where one can learn about the totality of life. They are places where the teacher and the taught can explore academic subjects as well as their own thinking and conditioning. The Oak Grove School began by realizing that the education of children demands an environment that is free from fear and conditioning. And today, Krishnamurti, the trustees of the American Foundation, parents and teachers have made a commitment to the children as they mature into young adults. A commitment to continue this exploration in learning. The purpose of education is not to produce mere scholars and technicians, but integrated men and women who are free from fear, for only between such human beings can there be enduring peace.